if you've ever watched a hockey game, you've seen players use various methods to get the puck behind the goaltender and into the net. The two most common shots that players use are a slap shot and a wrist shot. But which one is more effective and when should you use those certain shots in situations? Here during STEM with the Saints month, we're going to teach you exactly which shot is better and why. The biggest difference between a slap shot and a wrist shot are both speed and accuracy. With a slap shot, the player starts by striking the ice about 12 inches behind the puck and then using the flex generated on the stick as well as their weight transfer to power the puck on net. During a wrist shot, a player has the puck on the tape of the stick the entire time and simply flicks the puck towards the net using his wrists and his lower body. You usually see defensemen take slap shots from the point, trying to get the puck past multiple defenders and the goaltender. Slap shots are usually 85 to 95 miles per hour on average, and the fastest slap shot ever recorded was 108.8 miles per hour off the stick of Zdeno Chara. Wrist shots vary in speed much more than slap shots, but are typically 15 to 20 miles per hour slower. You'll see players use wrist shots a lot because of the accuracy and how precise you can be with placing the puck. That's why players will use these wrist shots in tight a lot more than a slap shot. So which shot is more effective? When it comes to trying to score goals, the wrist shot is the weapon of choice. In the NHL, nearly 50% of all goals are scored because of a wrist shot. Though we don't have the exact numbers at the USHL level, one can assume that they would roughly translate the same at this level of hockey. If you're trying to score goals, go for the wrist shot.